Police, we just got video in-house of the arraignment of the 17-year-old charged with assault with intent to commit murder. Take a look at him. His name is Bruce Wimbush Jr. He is the teen who police say was one of a dozen who nearly beat a man to death in the streets of Detroit. His attorney says Wimbush had only a small role in the mob beating and therefore he pled not guilty. Here is what happened inside that courtroom today. Pay close attention here. The video isn't the best quality, but listen to the attorney speak here. Judge, as far as him failing to appear, he has absolutely no prior criminal history. There is nothing su to suggest that this is something he does or have done in the past, like he warned about a restaurant. There's nothing to believe in which he wouldn't appear because he had every opportunity in the world to leave. He voluntarily surrendered. He could have ran, he could have escaped, he could have refused to go to the police department. He did none of those things. As stated, he's a high school student, never been in trouble before. I had a brief reading of some of the facts. My understanding there's multiple individuals, multiple adults, and my client allegedly had some type of small minor role judge. So the judge said bond at fifty thousand dollars. Joey and the Dream Team is back. Judge Alex also Darren. So the judge Joey is saying my client had no priors. He could have run. He right. didn't. He's come <laughs> forward. He's a high school yeah. student. Uh, $50,000, is that a lot? Is the judge sending a message or oh, not so? Certainly. I mean, that's a, that's a substantial amount of bail, $50,000. Yeah. But, you know, there's a victim here, and unfortunately, the victim took quite a beating. And you know what happens, Susan? In us defense attorneys, we use a defense. It's called being merely present. And merely present means were you really just there or were you participating in the act itself? And not only that, Susan, but were you aiding? Were you encouraging? Were you abetting? Were you facilitating? All of these legalistic words to mean that you are a participant. If he's a participant, he'll be held accountable. Lastly, Susan, remember the arguments being made for the bail were just that, to tell the judge that he's a good risk to return to court. They don't go to the actual facts.